So should you buy the DJI Mavic Air? Well, the answer is you're just gonna have to wait and see. Let's run the intro. Come on, you know I can't tell you the answer that quickly. What's up fellow creators, if you're new to this channel, I'm Connor Ricky. I've been a full-time filmmaker for two years creating content for brands on their Instagram, social media, commercials, TV ads, Driving to Tahoe tonight. all that stuff, and I'm on this quest, what is your quest? With this YouTube channel to get all the info that's up here to you guys. I'm gonna stop talking now, but come on, hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Since there really aren't any other drones on the market right now besides these DJI ones, you're most likely looking at like a Spark, a Mavic Pro, maybe a Mavic Pro 2, or this Mavic Air. All these drones are great, but they all serve their own purpose. So over the next few minutes here, I'm gonna explain why you should or should not buy the Mavic Air. Let me know down in the comments which drone you're in the market for. Hopefully I can give you some guidance because I've tried pretty much all of them. Why should you listen to my opinion? Well, because over the last two years, I have truly put the Mavic Air through its paces. In fact, I'm actually not quite sure how I haven't crashed and exploded it to a million pieces yet. I've flown the Mavic Air all over the United States, taken it to Indonesia, Thailand. I've flown it above the clouds, skimmed atop the ocean, even flown in the rain and in the snow. Speaking of travel, that leads me to the main reason why I use and I would recommend you buy the Mavic Air is because it is the perfect size. If you're the type of filmmaker that needs a very minimal, small setup and don't have a ton of room, well, the Mavic Air is gonna be a perfect option for you without sacrificing too much resolution at all. Yes, the Spark is smaller, but the quality isn't nearly as good as the Mavic Air. And yes, the Mavic 2 Pro has amazing quality, but it's definitely a bit bulkier to travel with compared to the Mavic Air. You might be thinking I haven't mentioned the original Mavic Pro, not the Mavic Pro 2. Well, in my opinion, the resolution on that is about the same as the Mavic Air, if not a little bit worse, and it's twice the size and around the same price. So for me, I don't even really consider that an option anymore because if you can't tell, I love the Mavic Air. The second reason why I think you should buy the Mavic Air is because it's a bargain. It's a great price for the package you're getting. The Mavic Air by itself with one battery is about 700 bucks right now and the Fly More package with three batteries, a case, and more accessories comes in at about around a thousand bucks. The Mavic Pro 2 comes in at about $1,700 with one battery and for the Fly More combo where you're getting two batteries and more accessories, you're looking at 2,000 bucks. First and foremost, I'm gonna get this out of the way. If you have the cash and the space to carry the Mavic Pro 2, go that route. Hands down, don't buy the Mavic Air, buy the Mavic Pro 2. The image quality is outstanding. But if saving some cash and space in your camera bag are important factors to you, I would hands down recommend the Mavic Air and here's why. For $1,000, you get a 4K drone with all the intelligent flight modes it has, plus three batteries. Honestly, the value is just not gonna get much better than that. This has been my primary drone over the last two years. I shoot all of my paid gigs, travel videos, social media content, commercials, all that stuff with this drone. And guys, in this part of the video, if you're enjoying what you're watching, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Overall, I haven't had too many issues with the Mavic Air that have limited me from getting the shot, which is in my opinion the most important thing at the end of the day but I have had some kind of weird issues with it, so I'm gonna explain those now. The number one annoying thing that's happened with my Mavic Pro, and that's happened more recently, like I mentioned, I have flown it in the rain and the snow, that could be the issue, but it's this uncontrollable beeping noise when I turn the controller on, like this. Yes, everything on the air is updated. The only way I've been able to overcome this annoying beeping noise is to every time I fly it, do a recalibration of the joysticks. And the beeping noise is super random, which makes it even more annoying. I went to film the B-roll for this video. It started beeping and then randomly just turns off. This little thing's green, shows like everything's A-OK. -okay. No problem now, no beeping, but it's beeping for like four or five minutes right before I hit record. Super weird. I'm by no means really a drone master. I use this thing as a tool to film. So if you're more into drones, comment down below if you know what this might be. That being said, it will fly totally normally with this beeping sound. There's been times where the sunset's been going down or I was just pressed for time to get the shot 
and I would just fly it with that annoying beeping sound going on the entire time. Not ideal, but again, this has not really been an issue that I've missed the shot because of, so it's not a huge deal and it doesn't always happen. Another issue I've had, but actually not as much as most people, is the fact that it can sometimes lose connection. Like I said, this hasn't happened to me very often, probably only a handful of times in the last two years, but it's really only happened when I've sent the drone really far away, like really pushing it, or if I'm in a super remote area with bad GPS or connection or something. So you might be thinking this might be a deal breaker to you. Well, like I said, this has only happened to me a couple times and the connection has always come back in the first few seconds. And after the first or second time this happened, I kind of just expect it and stay relaxed if I'm really gonna send it. I know it's gonna cut out, it's so far, knock on wood, always come back. So again, not a huge issue for me. Haven't actually crashed or lost my drone because of this. Probably gonna happen next week now that I've jinxed it, but knock on wood. If you're a Mavic Air owner, let me know down in the comments if you've had any issues that are similar or different. I wanna hear about all the issues this drone might have so in the future I can be prepared. So to summarize slash conclude, yes, absolutely buy the DJI Mavic Air if price or keeping a really small package are very important factors to you. The DJI Mavic Air has treated me so well over the last two years for my travels, for my corporate videos, for pretty much all the filmmaking I do and I will continue to love using it. But no, I may not recommend the Mavic Air if you have a lot of cash. Maybe you just book some wedding video deposits or whatever, you know, you just have a lot of money. The Mavic 2 Pro is probably a little bit better of a drone right now, so I'd go for that. But hey, maybe space is still a very important factor. You need to fit everything into a small bag, then money aside, the Mavic Air is going to be an amazing drone. So in that case, I would recommend it. If you're in the market for a new drone, I hope this video helped you out. I've been wanting to make it for a long time because I'm so passionate about the Mavic Air. This thing's an awesome drone and I just wanted to share my personal experiences about it. If I were to be me in the past two years ago looking at drones, I figured this video would probably help. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It does indeed make a difference. I'm just starting off here on YouTube, trying to get all the info that's up here over to you guys uh, in terms of filmmaking, getting the better shot, and then also the business side, making money doing this. So let's go on this journey together. Hit that subscribe button. I would really love it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, a like. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>